74 days. I wish you would do that. It's nice. I need for it to be nice. It was nice up until a certain point. What point? I remember feeling kind of uncomfortable around day 22. Probably uncomfortable. Yes. So? <laughs> like the repetition of it became oppressive somehow. I count the days to emphasize the bliss of routine. The comfort of the familiar. The form of daily celebration. But when you make a point out of, wait, how many days is it been now? 74 days. 74 days since our first dinner, our first dance, our first <laughs> Kiss, partners. Well, every day. Yes. Thanks, no. Okay, well, we can't settle into routine until we're deliberate out of noticing that we're working towards something. Do you see? It's like a matter of seeing the details. It's the trees for the forest. It's like watching the watch pop that doesn't boil. It's like not being able to tickle yourself. Or keep your <laughs> eyes open while you sneeze, exactly. Seen like 74 days. Sure, it's a relationship, Frank. It's not a winning streak. Oh, it is, my dear, sweetest to me. Routine is what we're working for. It's what happens when everything is properly in its place. When we find a particular comfortable place together, we need. We need to find that place. We're not settled over here. We're looking. It's a search. It's ongoing. It's important. There's something. Hmm? There's something I should tell you, something you ought to know. That reminds me, I invited to Ashley for this weekend for a party. Something important. Oh. Something bad? Well, it's not good. A secret? A secret. OK, before you go any farther, I want to tell you something simple. Something simple? Because. I've been in situations like this before, and I found myself sitting across from a woman, and she says, I have something I should tell you, a secret. You have? I have. And? And each time it happens, I thought, if only I could have thought of something simple to say before she confessed, things might have been different. I, I, could, have, I could have changed things, could have saved things. Well, that's ridiculous. How do you know what I'm going to say? How do you know you could help it? It's no nice this morning. Thanks. Like mint and oranges. <laughs> I love you too. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I. Syphilis, dysentery, and night <laughs> says partly cloudy. Mm. Here in the paper, partly cloudy. Why couldn't they say partly sunny instead? What's the difference? You don't see a difference? What am I missing? It's a way of looking at the world, a question of perspective. So you think partly cloudy is what, cynical? I think it's pessimistic. I like seeing the glass as half empty rather than half full. Like not seeing the forest but the trees? Like not looking <laughs> on the bright side? Okay. Don't you see? I'd rather the weather give me the good news instead of the bad. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, what about being prepared? I mean, what about knowing the extent of the potential? What about like having a plan? What about looking forward to a bit of sun? I mean, look at this newspaper. Teenagers killing each other, Afghanistan's blowing up ancient statues of Buddha, Israel and the Palestinians are about ready to throw down their gloves once and for all. All the more reason to have all the facts, to know all the extremities. Toast? 
<laughs> no thanks. <laughs> you really feel that way? Yeah, give me the bad news first, I always say. Because, you see, oh well. Yeah? That's interesting. Glad you think so? No, 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 no. I mean, that's interesting. <laughs> Why? Uh, that you'd like to get the bad news. Mm-hmm. I'm just thinking. About what? Maybe. Yeah? Maybe I should tell you something. Tell me what? <laughs> well, maybe it's something you should know about me. Something bad? <laughs> uh, it's not good. <laughs> oh. But you want the bad news. I'm not sure. I guess so. Yes. Okay. I'm not going to like this. Right. Probably right. What did you do? You smell nice this morning. What? I meant an orange. It's lovely. I said you need the bad news first, okay? the new century, you had the Bob King, you had Henry Ford, you had the beginning of America's love affair with the automobile, and just in time, uh, you had, by coincidence, uh, the discovery and development of the great oil fields of Texas and then of Oklahoma that would provide so much of that motor fuel.